Okay, welcome to the world of wonder. Uh, if you guys saw my intro video on the introduction of the Paradigm irons, Paradigm and Paradigm X, I told you about how much tech is packed into these beautiful irons, especially the Paradigm iron, which is, I cannot believe they got that much stuff in this iron. It's a total player shape. And then obviously you have the Paradigm X, which is a beefed up version of that. But it's one thing to talk about it. It's another thing to show you. Uh, we're gonna hit some balls, put these things to the test, and I'm probably gonna show you the difference between these and my gamer. I'm excited to try them. It's the world of wonder. It's iron testing time. Here we go. Okay, so let's, let's, we're gonna put these through the stretches. Like any good iron test, folks, you have to get your gamer out, then you have to get a Foresight GC Quad launch monitor to get the data. Now, my stock numbers for a seven iron are 165 with like 7,000 spin, and I think 16 or 17 launch. To be fair, I'm gonna be using the shafts that they're gonna be putting in the stock versions of the Paradigm, which is an Elevate, which is a high launching shaft. Uh, it's lighter. But that's kind of what you want in an iron like this. If you're looking for ball speed and forgiveness and everything else, you kind of want to go lighter, something that's going to help you uh, get, get the ball in the air. So these are going to go further, we know that, but my question is how much further? So let's see what happens with these guys. Now granted, this seven iron, I believe is at 31 degrees. It's a strong seven iron. Players distance irons are typically a little bit stronger because of the center of gravity so low. Holy mother. Wow. 126 ball speed, 181 carry at 61.39 spin, and it's still launched 16 degrees in the air. So why does that happen? Well, it starts with a high-powered Forge 455 face cup. This is a very thin, high-strength material typically used in fairway woods and hybrids. It's extremely efficient at producing ball speed, but to be able to use this material, you need a body that can contain all of that power. This is where the new construction comes in. Under the hood is a new type of hollow body construction that connects the top line to the body, but does this without raising the center of gravity, a flaw in a previous hollow body design. This frame-like structure combined with a high-powered face is what sets Paradigm apart from other irons. Okay, so first one went about 180, 181, I believe. Didn't spin as much, carried a long way, good ball speed. That was an absolute missile. 120, 128 at 186, 128 ball speed, 186 carry at 64, 65 spin. Kind of the same reaction I had last year with the Rogue ST Max. The only difference is the Rogue ST Max irons did not look like this. This looks like a Rogue ST Pro. This is why these are, to me, and I use the word goofy like in a heartfelt way, I don't know how they put all this speed in this iron. This looks just like the Rogue ST Pros to me that I played all year. And they are way faster. Wow. That was a little bit off the heel too. Okay, a little bit of a heel strike, heel thin. 124, 179 is 67.89 spin. So what do we pick up on that? What was I, 170 with my gamer and I got up to 180. 186 with this. So God only knows what this Paradigm X is gonna do, which is even stronger with a lower center of gravity, more offset, more forgiving, bigger footprint. Now to be fair to the Paradigm, typically I hit compact irons further than I hit the beefed up ones. I don't know if it's just how I deliver it, um, but I don't anticipate I'm gonna hit this one that much further than I hit the Paradigm, but we'll see. Let's see if we can hit the inside of the ball here. That was absolutely roasted, really high. Launched at 18.6, 129 ball speed at 185 carry, 54.89 in spin. Kind of the same as the Paradigm, but let's see what happens when I really try to juice one though. Let's see. Wow. See, that's that Tunston. 129 ball speed at 189 carry and 55 14 spin at launch at 19. Okay, this is where the tech comes in. So when I talk about the Tunson at the bottom, when they're moving the center of gravity this low and this deep, that's what's making the ball launch, get up in the air. That in combination with this springy face, that is, you know, AI designed to create forgiveness and speed integrity across the face. So no matter what, even though this is a stronger lofted seven iron, it still flies like a seven iron. So it's not like you're hitting seven irons that don't look like a seven iron shape. They still look like really, really good seven irons, um, but they're just going a long way with a proper spin. 
which just shows you what these guys do in R&D is miraculous. So you get a guy, not necessarily like me, but you get a guy maybe like my dad or one of his buddies that was hitting seven iron 160, now he can only hit it on 130. You give him one of these and he's back up to 155 without even lifting a weight. He's just, he's just, fast, he's just faster and hitting it higher because of technology. And that's why we do what we do. Let's hit one more. And absolutely roast it. High cut, falling right. 127 ball speed, 182 carry, 6620 spin, launch at 17.5. I didn't hit that perfectly. But let's just let's just let's talk for a second. So these paradigm, especially this this model, the better players version, I think who they're gonna attract is those players that are kind of my age, maybe a little bit older, that are looking for ball speed and forgiveness, but still love the player's shape. So the Rogue ST Pro players from last year that wanted even a little bit more launch and a little bit more ball speed, that is your iron. So some of the Apex 21 players that maybe didn't like as much offset in the Apex 21, but wanted something with a little tighter package, but wants that flight, bada bing. And then if someone's looking for premium materials with forged, forged feel, great sound, and just hit absolute bombs, then Paradigm X is your iron. It's fast, it's forgiving, it's got a slightly thicker top line, slightly more offset, slightly bigger head to toe. Uh, we're gonna be doing a lot more content on the Paradigm irons. Uh, if you have any more questions, go to callawaygolf.com, World of Wonder website, but what did we learn? These are, 15 yards further in the air at similar spin and similar launch than my gamers. And this one, this Paradigm one, looks pretty dang close to the way that that one looks. It's Johnny Wonder. Uh, just got my hair blown back. Uh, we're out of here. <laughs>